Hey, my friends, I want to take another moment with you today to share another grace moment. And in today's grace moment, I want to talk to you about God's plans for our lives. Yes, that's right. God's plans for our lives. You know, I grew up in church and they told me and they, they taught me that if you did not do what God wanted you to do, how he wanted you to do it and when he wanted you to do it, he would put terrible things upon you, force you to do it so that you would humble yourself and come running back to him and, and fall before him and say, you know, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, now I'm finally willing to do whatever it is that you want me to do. Well, I want to tell you that's just not true. That's not our father. That's not our loving father, not at all. Let me paint a better picture for you, okay? This is us, okay? This is us. We were with him in the beginning. He knew us from the beginning. Before anything was made, we was with him. He loved us from the beginning. From the very beginning, it was us, him, and his heart. And these are the plans. So it was us and his plans. And he looked at the plans, and he looked at us, and he said, do they have what it takes? Yes. Do they have the excitement for it? Yes. Will they enjoy it? Yes. Will they love it? Yes. Will it be a fulfillment to them? Yes. Would it bring them purpose and, and, and just make them feel as if they have a reason? Yes. And he looked at the he looked at us and he looked at the plans and he made sure, he made sure that everything we would need to make the plans come alive, to make the plans fun, to make the plans exciting, to show his love for us in the plan. He made sure that we had it. And if we didn't have it, you know what? He made sure he gave it to us before he revealed the plan to us. See, that's how he loves us. He put us together, given us, he's given us everything we need and said, here, here's a plan. This is what I like, would like for you to do. This is what I would like to see you do. This is what I would like to see you accomplish in your life. But nothing about this has ever been, if you don't do it, I'm going to get you. No, that's not our father. That's not love. That's not how love operates. Love operates from a position of this is what I've done for you. It's gonna excite you. It's gonna just motivate you. It's gonna show you my love for you. Not out of fear and intimidation like we've thought in the past, no, but out of this genuine, sincere love, he made these plans for us and he presented it to us for our enjoyment. So I just wanna encourage you to, with that today. If you're in a place, if you've been thinking about, you know, what's my purpose? Why am I here, God? You know, why did you make me? Please understand that he has a plan for you. It's a good plan. And it's a plan that's going to excite you to the max. And even if, even if you don't do that, even if you don't say, you know, what I just mentioned, even if you never come into agreement with his plan, guess what? It doesn't change anything. His unconditional love is still going to be there, still pouring out upon you, still reaching out to you, still loving you unconditionally, no matter what. His unconditional love is not based on whether or not we acknowledge and do his plans. His unconditional love for us is based upon a decision that he made that has nothing to do with anything else. He made a decision to love us unconditionally because he can, and he did. <laughs> So I just want to encourage you with that today. Don't let anything or anyone distort your view of our loving Father. Everything he does comes out of this unconditional love. Everything he has given us comes out of this unlimited grace. It's for me, it's for you. So just wanted to encourage you with that today. And remember, like I always say, grace is big. And our Father, who loves us so much, wants us to enjoy every single bit of it. Have a great day. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.